creator and founder of Silky Sacks, and I'm here today to bring you a review of this Janet Collection Natural Blowout Sierra wig. But before we get into that, there's a few things we have to do. If this is your first time coming to Silky Sacks, I want to say thank you so much and welcome. Here at Silky Sacks, we do wig reviews, hair tips, product reviews, hair tutorials, lookbooks, and it's all free. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell so that you'll be notified whenever we drop our videos on Monday and Wednesday. Fridays. And if you're watching over on Facebook, we love you over on the FB2. Go ahead and give this video a like and a share. And then on both platforms, you guys, like it and comment down below and let me know what do you think of Sierra. Do you like this wig? Have you guys tried any of the wigs in the Janet collection, Natural Me collection, or the blog collection? Let me know what you're thinking. Let's have a conversation about it. Look, she's getting all in my face. Girl, go on over here. Go on over here while I talk. And here at Silly Sex, we know how important it is to not only take care of your wigs and look good, but also take care of your hair underneath. So we have put together a new free, free excuse me, PDF tips to take care of your hair underneath your wigs. The link to it will be down in the description box after the video. Please go down there and check it out so that you can get these tips and get this information so that you can take care of your hair, right? Because it's important to take care of your wigs and be cute, but you want your real hair to be healthy as well, all right? And last but not least, here at Silky Sex, I love to send a shout out to my Silky Chicks. That is what I call my subs. I love you guys so much. Without you guys, I would have no one to talk about wigs to share my wig addiction with. So thank you guys. And today's shout out is going to Avanti Wingate. Avanti Wingate is also a wig reviewer. She slays wigs. She puts them together. She makes wigs. So go ahead, hit the link in down in the description box, excuse me, hit the link to her channel and go check Avanti out and let her know that Silky Sacks sent you. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into why you click this video. Let's talk about Janet Collections Sierra. So, Sierra is a part of Janet Collections Natural Blowout series. This wig was sent to me by Janet Collections, so I want to say thank you so much to Janet Collection for sending me this wig. Now, you know whether the wig is sent to me or not, I'm going to give you the tea. I'm going to keep it real with you. So, we're going to go ahead and get into it. So this is Sierra's stock card. She is, like I was saying earlier, she's a part of the Natural Me Blowout Collection. Janet Collection is really killing it, you guys, with these natural style units. If you haven't tried anything from this collection yet, I highly recommend you do. Um, what I like about this is it is, you know, a premium fiber synthetic textured wig so we love the texture they really are nailing with the texture it comes in some great colors you guys they've really stepped their game up with the coloring there's so many great options this is the 1b30 and the color is actually more down here with the curls i actually think they could have put it in here a little bit more more of the 30 throughout it so that you can see it because it's really looking more like a 1b but there is some color down um, in the curls and in the unit um, it is HD lace, but be, but I didn't have any issues with it. Um, there's been a little bit of an issue with HD lace with these synthetic wigs. I don't really think they really even need HD lace on synthetic wig, but um, yeah, I had a little issue. Um, excuse me, did not have any issues with that, but I have had issues with HD lace on synthetic wigs in the past. So that's a pro for this one that I didn't. Um, it has the ear to ear lace, and then they have a special knotting on the back of the nape which is really nice because usually on the back of the nape of uh, the nape of your neck these wigs get like all tangly but what they did is they put shorter hairs there so that it won't get tangly and that's something that's on actually all of these wigs and i haven't paid attention to that before and said it before so i want to make sure that i say it this time yes i see what it is it's it's small little hair, so it helps it not get so tangled back there so that's a cool feature of this series and then of course it's heat friendly so without further ado Go ahead and watch how, me unbox it, how I style it, and then stay to the very end so you can hear all of the pros and cons on this Sierra unit. All right. All right, so here is Miss Sierra. Let's see if we're going to make it three for three, you guys. All right, so here Sierra is. Here is the little um, color back here in the curls and a little bit all throughout. Then you have that left side parting. The lace on this is a little bit of a darker brown. You got a little bit of baby hairs. The texture 
is very yakky, which we like, and it does have a little bit of crinkles in it. Not all over, but little parts of it does have crinkles, but it's really soft, because I know in a prior video, someone asked about the crinkles. So, want to make that clear. Got the two combs in the front and the part, and then this back open cap, which I like because it's stretchy and also gives you a little bit more room to breathe when it gets hot. That comb in the back and then the typical adjustable strap. So we are going to put Miss Sierra on. Let me just put this hook back and see. Please. So she is, um, like I said, has room. She's definitely big head friendly. I'm getting in here. Okay, Sierra. Lots of volume in those curls, you guys. If you like volume, Sierra probably is your girl. Look at this curl. See how you acting? See how you just want to go and do your own thing? You got to get in with the group. Get on up there. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into that 360. Sierra on the right. I said I could always do better and brush these wigs out before I do the 360. But Sierra on the left. Sierra in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off of Sierra. Style her. We'll come back and talk about it. Give you my final opinion. So stay tuned. Alright, so I am back, you guys, from Styling Sierra, so let's go ahead and let's get into it. Now, the first thing I did is I went ahead and I cut the lace off. Like I was saying earlier, the lace is tinted a little bit of a brown, so if you're of a lighter complexion, you're probably going to have to go in and work with the lace a little bit. I didn't have any issues, um, you know, with it, but if you're lighter complexed, that's something that you need to be aware of. I then went in with my wig shine. This wig shine is great for synthetic units and I love to use them on my more yakky natural textured style units just because it gives it a little bit of moisture, helps it not look you know super super dry and just gives the hair a little bit of shine so I went ahead and rubbed that in with my fingers. Now because of the curls and because it's a synthetic wig I didn't want to manipulate it too much so I just went ahead and combed through it with my fingers. Um, I didn't experience any tangling and shedding but this is a synthetic unit so over time the more you mess with it the more you manipulate it. I'm sure that I will at some point experience probably a little bit of tangling and some shedding but for the most part that was okay. I still wanted to have the curls there. I didn't want to comb out too much but you know it's a preference thing. If you like the curls more loose you can definitely go on with your brush and brush them out. Then I went ahead and went in with some mousse and I just did the mousse right in the front part of the wig just because I wanted to make sure that the hair stayed in place and wasn't falling in my lashes, getting stuck on my lipstick and that kind of thing. So I just rubbed the mousse in the front. I didn't rub it through all, all throughout the unit. Then the wig I noticed was a little poofy in the crown and I know they wanted more volume in here for the bang but I, that's my pet peeve if you watch me here a lot you know I don't really like too much of a poof in the crown so I took my Silky Sacks hot comb and went in and uh, hot combed it. I rubbed the heat in the top here and then actually combed it down to help it just you know lay and have the more volume at the bottom and not so much at the top. I think that makes the wigs look a little wiggy when you have that. Now remember you guys when you use heat in these synthetic units turn the heat low and then slowly but surely you can work it up if you feel like you need more heat because I've seen people singe their units. You don't want to burn your wig. So always start with the heat on low and move up as you may need it. And then last but not least, I went in and I opened up the part with my Fit Me powder because the part wasn't very defined in my opinion on this, especially with the hair being thicker and, um, you know, having that poof um, here, the way it's styled. I just want to really open that up because I feel like the opening up the part really helps you know the wig look more realistic so I am three for three so far with this collection I am loving these natural Janet collection natural me blowout units so let's get into the pros and cons why I liked it for the pros it's super easy now out of all the wigs that I've tried from the natural me collection this one was did take the most work you are gonna have to work with her a little bit as far as like you know 
combing your fingers through, shaping her, um, maybe putting a little bit more heat in here. It's not as simple as a throw on and go. I think, Sierra, you're going to have to put a little bit more work into her than I did with um, Tamila and Kaija. But I think she's still pretty. If you like this style, I like that it's a fuller density. I like this curly look, this like vavoon look. It's giving me, um, I'm kind of getting Michelle Obama vibe. You know, and I like Michelle. So, you know, if you're a Michelle stand, let me know down in the comments. So, I like the style of it. I like the curls. Um, and I like, you know, the volume of it. I, I'm a girl who likes big hair. So, I'm here for this blown out look. Um, really, the only con that I had with this one was really that, you know, it's not as fast. Or it wasn't as simple as a throw and go as the other ones. And that was really it. Um, and then the parting space wasn't that great on this one you know you gotta go ahead and open it up but that was really it so that's the only thing that i have to say okay jenna collection three for three i'm loving this you know outre and outre and jenna collection are like neck and neck for me right now like every video is like you know what i mean i definitely think um you know this is a beautiful wig and if you are looking for a natural style unit for the fall you guys i can't stress enough that you really need to check out this jenna collection I'm serious. And I'm not just saying this because this wig was given to me. I bought Tamila and Kaja on my own. I love them both. Um, yeah, so really, check out this collection. They have great colors. Check it out, y'all. Okay, and of course, when I take this unit off, I'm not going to put it back into the plastic that it came out of. I'm going to place it in my luxury silky sack. A silky sack is a silk line bag that I invented not only to store your hair, but to give your wig longevity. The silk lining allows the hair to just glide, cutting down on the shedding, matting, and tangling that it would do if you put it back into the plastic. So if you want to see Silky Sacks and some of the products that we sell, please check the description box. The link to the website will be down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will join us again on Friday. And remember, better care is better wear.